you know, in every club, DJ is very, very important. In every life of an artist, DJ is also important. What's going on, DJ family? DJ Reese here. If you're a new beginner DJ, you need new tips, you want to hear the inspiration from the DJs who started out new, that are taking their DJing game to the next level, well, you got to check out WeCreateTheVibes.com. Every Monday, 9 a.m., new stories, new episodes from the dopest DJs out there killing it in the game right now. All of a sudden, there was a club in, 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 in Lagos. The, the, um, it was called the Coco Lounge in Lagos. So this club was owned by some guys. But what they did was to bring, I don't know if you heard about the band. Yes, the band, yes, man. Yeah. <laughs> what they did was to invite the band to mm -hmm. be partly owner of the club, Coco Lounge. Okay. This was about 2008, nine, thereabouts. So I was, the, I was the resident DJ. I was the official DJ of the club. So then the journey started. Coco Lounge back, back in the days was like the uh, RCA Records okay. owner. It was like the... Uh, it was one of the like say say it's the one of the biggest biggest club like a record label one of the biggest record okay labels. those who were involved are like the the more hits back then the more hits were like Don Jazzy, Wandeko, the Branch, Ikechuku, okay. and all and all and all. So everybody wanted to link up with the more hit because the more hits were the first set of Nigerian artists who got involved into crossing into America. The band, to me, the band was the first Nigerian artist who had a remix with Snoop Dogg. So because of that, everybody felt like, oh, wow, man, if we need to get to these guys, it could be like a plus for us to, you know, get noticed in the industry. Now, you know, in every club, DJ is very, very important. In every life of an artist, DJ is also important. So they felt like, okay, since we know the club and we have to like get to the club why don't we get through the dj let's hook up with the dj let's make him play our music so that the band or don jazzy or the club owners can you know hear it and they can you know give us maybe like a contract or give us like a record label or okay. even give us like a collaboration something like that so then everybody was coming to me and trust me there was a lot there was a lot of artists gone already that we didn't even know. They were the, they were the, they were the forefathers of Afrobeat. 